Oh, uh, we're live. Good morning, everybody. I know it's too early for anybody to join me. It's about not quite 430 out here in southeast Arizona. And uh, I just wanted to pop in for a few minutes and uh, here about eight o'clock this morning. I finally get to meet my first reader face to face. So that's going to be fun. Two old military guys swapping lies and having, you know, sharing tea and coffee and just having a good time, uh, probably sitting outside. Uh, mostly I wanted to do this because I wanted to speak to Buck Turgid, uh, who commented on a, a video or two here a while back. Uh, I stole your first name, Buck. I really like your first name or an operative in Blackwell Ops, in the TJ Blackwell, Blackwell Ops world. So I thought, you know, I've just finished that book, that novel. I reported it in today's journal and yesterday's for that matter. You'll see why when, if you read the journal. But I wasn't sure whether Buck reads the journal at all or, or any of that. So. I thought I'd reach out and say, hey, Buck, if you would like a free copy of that novel, email me. It's harveystanbro at gmail.com. No spaces. Everybody knows that. But email me and I'll send you a free copy of that novel in uh, any electronic format, whatever you whatever you like. Just let me know. Here in, here in a few days. Uh, I screwed up <laughs> because I thought everything was finished. So I emailed it to my first reader a few days ago, but I forgot to attach the file. And then after that, my first reader, Russ, Russ Jones, was on the road on his way to come out here and visit me. So I am a fortunate guy. So that should be an enjoyable visit. But as a result of me forgetting to attach the file and knowing I had a few days left to play with it if I wanted to, I decided to sit down yesterday and recycle, cycle back over the whole thing, the whole novel. And it was enjoyable. It was fun. I actually liked it. So that might slow down my process in the future. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll do that on all of them. Uh, finish the novel one day and then cycle over the whole thing the next and then send it out to uh, my first reader and then when he gets uh, so so it'll go that'll go out to my first reader on Monday or Tuesday somewhere in there and then after that uh, when he gets back to me with his uh, catches you know all he reads for he just reads for pleasure and then he uh, but he, he makes a note of anything that pops out at him. And that's what a good first reader should do. You know, just like when you're reading a book and, and a, a spelling error or a wrong word or an inconsistency pops off the page at you and you notice it, it kind of pulls you out of the story a little bit. So that's what a fir good first reader does. And Russ is an excellent first reader. So once he gets those remarks back to me, those catches back to me, I'll incorporate them into the novel and then, Buck, I'll send your copy if you want one. So just let me know. Email me, harveystanbro at gmail.com and I'll get that right out to you. So the, the, day I, the day I upload it, it'll be, I'll have the files and I'll send one to you. So let me know. Okay, looking forward to a very enjoyable visit with Russ and Michael. His son is coming out with him, uh, probably serving as the primary driver <laughs> because Russ is kind of like me. He's, you know, a little older than he'd like to be right now. But, uh, you know, I suspect he had the same kind of misspent youth that I had. 
So I'm looking forward to chatting with him and getting stories and all that. So I will talk with you folks later. Buck, email me. <laughs> if you're getting this, email me. And I'll chat with you guys later.